versus hey. Utopian Ray. Now, the Pally on the screen is not Jen. That's Utopian Ray. Jen is playing. At least I think he's just planning to play Ryu and chill today. But just opens up with Shoryuken. Yeah, already off to a interesting start here. I mean, Jen's gonna know how to play against Pally really well. And for those of you who don't know, prolific Ryu main in Smash Four. Let's see, just jumping. He likes to play. He likes to fire a lot of projectiles. Likes to really chill. He uh, he doesn't really do a ton of the um, like the super extended combos, but he 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 can do everything you need. I like a little bit more than that too. Sorry, I can't say much right now. I gotta do all this housekeeping. No worries. I'm waiting for my goat Matanema to show up. I hope she shows up. He he, he shows up. Sorry. You're good. Pronouns are hard. Jab. Yeah. Jab again. Just chilling. Nice forward air from Utopian Ray. I'm so insanely forgetful. These pronouns are killing me. I. We appreciate you. I'm doing my best. We appreciate you a lot. Don't worry about it. Let's see. Nice back air from Ray here. This back air is going to cause huge problems for Jen here. Invincible just sort of stuffs out the Shoto stuff. And then Nair was going to break things like Focus and just catch jump ins really well. Jen just nodding to himself. Gets caught by the explosive flame. Up air, but no link. Nice Hadoken, though. Tries to two frame with the down tilt, but no avail. Down tilt to shore you though. Bread and butter. Jen picks up a stock and let's see. Just gonna chill in the corner. Jen is really good at like playing slow and fast, and I think like a lot of like his like really good like slow methodical like moving forward really shines with Ryu. Definitely where he learned it too. A nice back air from Ray here though. Not overextending. Just two nares and goes for a ledge trap, but really good reversal from Jen into the corner. Jab, jab. No shore you though, but a hado to pick up the advantage back. Nice Nair of Utopian Ray, though. A lot of reversals going on this set. Forward air, no jumps. Lots of really good play around the platforms from both players, just defensively and offensively. Forward air here again. Nair to catch the landing. Back air to catch the landing again. Oh, and catches the Tatsu. This could just be death for Jen. No, save to jump to the last minute. Really good stuff, but another back air, and it's so hard for Ryu to get out of this corner. Ray's lead trapping just so, like, disciplined here. Just lets Jen get into the corner, gets back up with the dash attack. Slow Hado though, really good stuff from Jen. No Tatsu though, down tilts the shield once and runs away, knows that he can't get anything. Back air, explosive flame, but nothing. And now Ray with another ledge trap, seems to be the story of this game so far. But Jen's openings are so meaningful, that back air gonna do really good stuff. And the Tatsu to cover the teleport, but actually text from Utopian Ray, really good stuff. Teleports back to center stage, knows what he's doing, and a nice forward air here. This back air is just resetting the neutral. Both players just looking to get their kill openings here. Nice back air, but not going to kill Ryu's really heavy. But we could see an edge guard, maybe. No. I like that Ray opts to just wait there. Looking for this one back air to take it out. Jen, I mean, Ryu is so slow. Pal so fast, but it's so hard. But a down tilt to Shoryu. Good DI out, though. Not getting the sweet spot of the Shoryu there. Up air, but nothing. Too high percent for that to cancel. Down tilt, no kill again. Ray is showing his confidence in the matchup here. And a low nair should take the stock at 175, but it doesn't matter when you're getting the kill. That's all that really matters. And I mean, no disrespect to Jen, but okay, sure you had a shield. I was gonna say if you're like not hitting like the super extended Shoto combos, like it's much less intimidating. But raw DP, yeah, raw DP. You know how it is. One of my biggest flaws, one of my biggest toxic traits as a commentator is that I've started calling Martha and Lucina a B DP. It is a DP. I know, but I only I I don't call it a B anymore. I just call it DP. Close enough. Yeah. Projectiles here from Jen. Let's see. Dashing back and forth, working his way in, but this back air has just been so good for Ray. Stuffing him out. Something Full I've never. No, you're good. Something I will say is I am really glad that Ryu kind of like carved himself out a niche in this meta. Oh, me too. Because like on release, there was no reason to use Ryu over Ken. It was just like, oh yeah, yeah. Ken just has the better combos, the better kill potential. Better mobility too. The slightly better projectile Ryu has doesn't matter in this situation. But I mean, I think like Ryu, I mean, obviously. But no, now Ryu hits like a yeah. truck. And the Shoto, I mean, the buffs to both the Shotos obviously mattered a lot. But also like, I think it's so cool that like there's a reason to play both. Because like, as good as Ryu is, like you also want Oof. Ken for a few matchups too, right? So. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh, 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 baby. That is a that is an interaction. That was fire. That was an interaction. Yeah. All I right. mean, Jen, like, look, see, like Jen here will fire the Hado, but 
Um, Utopian Ray. Okay, well, not yet. That's later. The Dark Hado. Um, Ray buffering the explosive flame and just hitting Jen in the end lag of the projectile was. Yeah, let me see that raw DK. Boom. All right, we're gonna get back to PS2 here. No surprise. I took. I asked Jen if he could go small battlefield, and he was like, "Dude, I hate you." <laughs> He's a big PS2 lover. Let's see here. Good movement, though. Running around. Greedy dash tech in from Ray. That's like the first one that he's like missed, actually. Nice nares here. Jen running in. Ray seems to be slowly getting like a pretty good handle on like where Jen wants to be moving, what he wants to be doing. And I mean, that's part of the issue with Ryu is that like if you're like moving in a lot, like it can be pretty, like unless you're having like crazy good like awareness of your mix ups and stuff, it can be really hard to like be very like, uh, how you say like diverse with your with your movement and your options just because like you're so slow you only have like a few good buttons to get in and how is known to stuff people out for breakfast but that down tilt to shore you and then pick up the first stop for jen and i mean even on ryu his top player prowess just you know showing up indeed i mean it's also just kind of hard to pressure ryu's shield because oh yeah it, Ignoring up B out of shield, which is horrifying. He does have Nair out of shield, which is a very good move. Oh, yeah. And definitely oh good God. for contesting Palu's Nair on shield. That was so much damage. The Shakunetsu is like, it, it does more than like a lot of characters like normals, <laughs> which is crazy. But yeah, I mean, it can be hard to pressure Ryu's shield, but Palu, like, if you're properly spacing things, you can do it, but. Ray has been pretty good about like being very careful with what he's been doing, which I really appreciate. Nice forward air here. Oh, Nair to forward air, no Shoryu. Shaku? I've never seen Shaku kill Spark in my life. That can happen. Shaku Nets is mostly all base knockback, so <laughs> yeah. he just has to kind of hit you close to the blast zone at any percent. That makes sense. I've just never seen a Shaku land that far out. Nice back air from Utopia. Yeah, it's right? usually not gonna. And catches the Rising Katsu. That's gonna be death. Classic Palutena stock, and... Oh, I did not press the right button. Oh my god. <laughs> it's okay, guys. You didn't miss anything. I sent the replay to avoid. <laughs> oh, right. Almost picking up an early, uh, early ledge trap stock there. And I guess the really obvious thing about like this player matchup, Jen just knows how Palutena works. Oh, yeah. Obviously. And I mean, He's no, better equipped to take yeah. advantage of her shortcomings, and no disrespect, whatever those are. <laughs> no, disres no disrespect to Ray. Jen is just different, you know? He's really good. Let's see, nice forward air here, though. I mean, Ray not getting discouraged at all. Just using Palo's really good spacing tools. Jumping around. Baits the aerial and the explosive flame. Not going to take the stock. Great air dodge from Jen to just get over it. And now the rising up air going to call out the jump from Ray. Just the jumps being called out by both players here. Down throw. Oh, oh. focuses through the down smash and actually gets 30% for his troubles. Wow. And even more combos here. Wow. That's Look a at lot this of 75. Focus. That has to be a lot of focus if you can just handle being slammed on your head by something like that. You know. <gasps> me, me when oh. I. Oh my god. Oh, no, no DP. He didn't believe on the hit. Oh, oh, well, there's a hit. <laughs> All oh, right, Ray, Ray won game one. That's right. Yeah, Ray won game one. Give it troll. Are you voice acting Ryu in Street Fighter? Badly. Okay. <laughs> Your rage is one fish short. <laughs> the journey has just begun. Me when I'm in a focusing competition and my opponent is Ryu. <laughs> Let's see, just jumping around, throwing out some butt. Oh. Uh, uh, good? That could have been bad. <laughs> that could have been really bad. But it's not. It's okay. Down throw. Ooh, one hit of Nair, baby. One hit of Nair. Something I do feel inclined to mention about multi-hit Nair, this is going to be all technical talk since that's all I'm good for, really. Uh, at one point, they had uh, patched Palutena's Nair to not infinite big bodies on platforms because that was a thing that could happen pre-patch. And the change they made is that the multi-hits, like, launch you up if you fall out of it. 
which actually made it worse for Palutena just trying to pressure people on platforms. Because it's like, oh, they fell out. I actually can't follow up on this now. I mean, so that's a thing. Yeah, I think it was definitely like a fine way to fix the issue, though, you know? Yeah, I mean, they weren't thinking, oh, yeah, let's nerf Palutena's platform pressure a little bit. They were like, oh, this is an infinite. Her we don't want infinites in this game. Her platform pressure's already good enough. It's okay. Because if nothing else, the ultimate devs were very good about keeping all the infinites out of the game. Diddy Kong's infinite is called the Pyramid Scheme. Like, I think there's only one infinite left, and that would be Isabelle's jab. Yeah, I mean, I know, isn't there, like, some, like, oh, oh really good catch from Ray. Isn't there something that Greninja can do on floaties? No? Maybe? I don't know if it, it, I don't know if it's, like, an infinite, but you can do, like, zero to, like, a million damage against, like, Puff or something. Oh, right, and of course, the classic infinite, Joker's up airs. <laughs> That's hard to do. He can have that. It's not that hard. The down tilt here, trade. The player just moving around, but Jen, you know, feels the need to move in because he's down, and Tatsu gonna catch Ray. Jen rolling to center, let's see. Runs through and gets the Nair to shore. You cancel, really gets there from Jen, and let's see if he can just, you know, start to slowly pull this back in. Gets the down throw, no combo in this game, and the back air reversal. The same interaction we saw that actually lost in game one happening there again. Normal we'll get ups through it this time. Forward air, air dodges through the explosive flame. No down tilt from Ray. Just ledge trapping, but Jen gets out of the corner, resets neutral, throws to Shaku, and it's actually so slow that the early counter from Ray actually gets hit. And now Jen is the ledge trap. Let's see. Just poking, just, you know, looking for like one opening. F wanted to get a, a Nair conversion there, but actually drifts too far into the corner and gets punished for it. Ray, you know, could send Jen to losers right here. Huge combos here though. Down to Tatsu. Oh, no sweet spot on the DP. Doesn't fall off stage though, really good. It's Ryu, the king of combos. <laughs> the king of combos, one might say. I love how Sakurai called him the king of combos and then just released Bayonetta. Wow, sour DP still killing. Bayonetta was a war crime. Anyways, <laughs> Nair to Nair to Nair. Guess what he's gonna do next? Nothing. The DI out from Jen there. Oh, All right. the, those feet. Oh, those, those feet. That stank leg. Yes. From Ryu. Ryu's Tozy Wozy is oh. doing a lot of damage here and a dash attack to catch the landing. Platform tech chase here. All right. Back air to stuff. Ray is camping his life away. He's mostly. <gasps> he wants to win this so bad. He could have broken shield right there. It might have been able to get a kill. Uh, not at this percent, right? Full charge Ryu at 30, 30, that could be enough. But he would have to spend the time pushing Ray to the ledge. Uh, I mean, it's a strong forward smash. That's true. I'll give it up. I, I don't know much about Ryu forward smash because... No one uses it. Yeah, unless you're like Ashimo or Vendetta. Shout out to Ashimo. That guy's raw. Nair. Oh. Was that his jump? Did he use his jump? Yeah, yeah. he used his oh. jump. He used jump. Yes. Utopian Ray takes the set. Over the fabled Gen Ryu. Jennifer. Thing of legends, that is. Okay, music. Uh, what do I do next? I haven't done this in a while. Replays. Replays. I mean... Wrong... Oh, correct replay. No, wrong replay. First replay. Play all <laughs> the replays. Yeah, I mean, great stuff from Ray all around. I mean, obviously, as good as this matchup is for Palutena, like... Ray did a really good job of exposing Ryu's weaknesses, and to Jen's credit, he did like a lot of really good stuff to work around Ryu's weaknesses too. Like he had really, he had some really creative moments to get in, get out, some really good recoveries. But indeed, but it's hard for Ryu to deal with that back air first and foremost. It's the back air, the the combination of the back air and the nair, and like it's, it's like my man wants to play footsies and getting close, and Palutena's like no. Stop it. Well, My Nair I mean, is frame five. Palu is like the original, like, I will brick wall you character, you know? So. Something like that. Well, that's Just what that's what she was back in the there. day. 